All right, so everyone, I thought I'd start off the new year with a brand new video. So as you can see, I have a new toy. This is the KWC Mini Uzi. Now these are they're kind of an odd one, really. I mean, a lot of people don't really seem to go for stuff like this. You'll have people who own CO2 pistols, CO2 powered air rifles. But the submachine gun and this kind of thing doesn't really get I don't know, as much recognition and as much attention as you'd quite expect. Now, um... These are pretty fun, they're a nice little niche, they fill a gap when you don't necessarily want to shoot a rifle or a pistol, you just want a bit of fun, and this is what these are good for. Now with typical KWC fashion you've got your flashy box with your specifications, so CO2 powers of course, so it's got your recoil system and all that crap, 2.2 kilograms, um, 650 millimetres long, near enough one and a half joules of energy, and it is half metal which may interest some of you. The actual receiver and pistol grip on this are made of plastic. A lot of ab a lot of um, websites, sorry, advertise these as being made of full metal, and that is not necessarily true. We'll go into that more a bit later, though. BB capacity is 24 rounds, although you will be very lucky to actually get the full magazine off on a single charge CO2. It depends on the weather, but where I'm living right now, I w well the temperature where I'm living, I should say you'd be lucky to get a full magazine off with this, that is the only drawback. So enough about the box, let's go into it. This is just a shipping invoice from the shop I bought it from. Here you get your very typical KWC manual, these are always comical. The English translations, let's have a look. Yep, there you go. In case you need to disassemble the frame, always keep this manual but there is a good reason to keep this there are third party companies that make aftermarket metal frames or metal receivers for these so if you do want to get one of them it's worth keeping this just for the parts diagram or the explosion just so you can see what goes where and you know how it all works now the actual presentation of the box pretty standard affair really it's nice enough does the job you do get a pretty half decent pack of 250 bbs Steel BB, so you know not the cheap copper ones that will flake off in your barrel and ruin it. Plop them back in there. You get your little goodie bag, I think, of... Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's just a Allen key, sight adjustment tool, and... Oh yeah, that's the little magazine screw thing, whatever you call them. Cram that back in there. And of course, you get the actual Uzi, what everyone came for. I can get it out. And I have to say, this feels very nice in the hands, even though the receiver and pistol grip are plastic. It feels solid. It doesn't creak or rattle or anything, it doesn't bend, it just feels very nice in the hand. It's very heavy, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, because I understand these things kick like an absolute mule. I have been told they do actually kick like or even harder than a 22 caliber pistol, so, you know, I'll we'll have to see how, that, how true that actually is. So you're probably wondering what is metal on this, I'm just finding out myself. Okay, so from what I can tell, the barrel, the barrel bushing, or the barrel nut, whatever you call it. The actual sights, not the sight posts. The top part of the receiver, the dust cover, whatever you want to call it. The charge and handle. The trigger. Safety. Magazine release and your stock are all metal, everything else is plastic, but that's not, to be honest, that's not really bad, to be honest. That is actually pretty decent. So, the gun itself is a very lifelike replica of the real Uzi. You do have your pistol grip safety and your true to the real Uzi translation safety. There's safe, repetition and automatic. In the UK, they are sold as semi-automatic only, but the only thing stopping this from going into automatic is a little plastic tab that stops the switch from being pushed into automatic. So, you know, a lot of people do convert these once the warranty is up. So your magazine. Typically on these kind of things, you'd expect the magazine to be most of the weight, but to be, I think the Uzi is actually heavier than the magazine, which is a solid slab of metal. <laughs> when the magazine is inserted, this is a very heavy piece, I have to say. It's going to be a lot of fun shooting this. It's going to be different, and I suppose that's what you need in a hobby like this. So, like the real Uzi, this fires from an open bolt. You just 
flip that over and you cock it. It does hold open on its last round as well, so it is quite an authentic piece. This would be a good prop for you know people who film movies or whatever. It is such a lifelike replica that you'd probably get away with it. So pull the trigger. There is actually quite a lot of kick to that. And it's happened, even with me holding it with two hands, it does jump about. And that's even without any CO2 in. So your stock, it just folds out. There's no button to press, there's no trunnion mechanism or anything. You just fold it in and out as you wish. You can shoot this either as a pistol or you can fold the stock out and, you know, brace it against your shoulder. Probably do both, it's probably fun either way. And you're probably worrying, with there being no button or release to, you know, hold the stock, that it might actually just slip if you, wo you know, wobble it around or turn it upside down. And it doesn't. You no, know, it holds in pretty sturdy, so that's quite impressive. So overall, I am very impressed with this. For the money, it cost me... £170, which is probably a bit expensive compared to other countries, but you know, considering you don't really see much stuff like this in the UK, I think it's actually a pretty good deal. It's going to be very fun to shoot. Once it gets warmer outside, I will definitely be uploading videos of this, so you know, please do stay around and thanks for watching.